So, John, for this one, uh, kind of unique, we have you here uh, doing the voiceover. We Good don't to have be here again. Good to be here. Yeah. So this one, John, we're going to be heading out to Kaysville. Now, notice the solar panels on the side of this house. Beautiful corner lot faces uh, uh, west, which is super desirable for that uh, for that snow runoff. You know. I was going to say, I love the fact that it's in a cul-de-sac. Yeah, got to have that. And they've already put in the solar panels, which are great. And as you can see, that look at that beautiful tree. Of course, we're in late fall right now. And so that tree, it looks like a, more like a Halloween. It's like a Halloween tree. But at least, right at least now, we don't have any snow up there yet, right? Yeah, nothing yet. We have yet. some green grass. <laughs> Very green grass. Heading into the inside, this is an absolutely beautiful property. So this one we're going to be looking at is just under 4,000 square feet. And as you notice, you walk in the front door here. It's got a beautiful door. And off to the right, they've got this kind of little uh, uh, kind of entertaining room. In this case, they're using it for a piano room. Yeah, I'm going to say I love the, the built-ins. That always makes it nice. Yeah, and really nice colors, you know, kind of country cottage kind of feel on this as you walk in they've got a big great room in this area and this is super desirable this is what a lot of people are looking for where you can come in and have an open floor plan and have the kitchen right there but the kitchen doesn't isn't you know really viewable from the front door yeah it makes it nice because you can talk to your family while you're cooking meals and things like that and they, everybody can be a part of it you know what they're watching what they're doing yeah exactly yeah. and so you it's can still private you can all be part of it but then it's it's secluded enough which is great and then the, also the dining room is right off there and so the, of course the vaulted ceilings on the main floor uh, really nice desirable and right behind the kitchen as you walk through there it's got like a little pantry area there and they've got a place where they've got a that you can put a washer and dryer if you wanted to mm -hmm. and then it walks out into the garage which is is super desirable of course, on the main floor, on the on the far side, just behind um, behind the kitchen, they've got a couple bedrooms over there, and then on the on the far wing, on the opposite side, that's where the master bedroom is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good size master. Yeah. Real nice layout. And of course, they got a real nice, good size master be a bath, as you can see, and they got the corner tub. Yeah, you got to love the jetted tub with the views outside of everything. Yeah, and a nice walk-in shower, as you can see here. Very, very nice. And so uh, let's talk, uh, so John, let's talk a little bit about financing on this one. What, this, yeah. what would this look like? Yeah, most people financing on these loans are going to be 5% uh, down on a conventional loan. It's going to be um, basically in your mid fours for rates. Uh, otherwise, you, you know, you can do some jumbo products that they have. Um, just depends on what you're looking for and if you're trying to get out of M mortgage insurance. We've got a couple, couple programs for that also on these yeah. jumbos. And that's nice. So if you bring a little bit more money down, you can get out of the out of the it's because the, the interest rate isn't too bad on no the jumbo, it's not bad really. at all it's honestly not that much higher than your regular rates right now yeah which is which is awesome so head, as you notice upstairs they had a little bonus room above the garage which was mm -hmm. great and now headed down to the basement they've got a really nice open floor plan and a lot of light in the basement yeah it looks like a lot of storage too yeah lots of room lots of room for whatever you want to do in the basement they also got a little kitchenette down there and the backyard in this house is just absolutely to die for. They're in an HOA, which is interesting, but the HOA is only $50 a month, and right in the cul-de-sac, they have a little trail that goes through, and they've got a, uh, like a, what is that, a pickleball court oh, okay. there? Yeah, okay. and they've got a nice little park that's over there, and $50 a month for an HOA is not much at all. Not bad if they're taking away your snow for you. <laughs> yeah, if they, yeah, I think they, they probably take it off the street, yeah. because it is a private street on this house, but I'm sure they don't take it off your... Uh, off of your lawn or anything like that. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> you, that you're responsible for all that. I was gonna say it was a really nice second kitchen down there too, with those concrete slabs for the countertops. That's really nice. Yeah, looking. really cute. And as we're going to the backyard, take a look. It looks like a little chicken coop they've got on the far side, and they've got a place for the kids up there. A little tree house. Look at it. Perfectly, tree grows right through the tree house. Yeah, it's really adorable. And on the left-hand side, which we didn't show you because they had some stuff over there, but they've got a, a storage shed, a beautiful storage shed with uh, places to put all your lawn equipment. And then they had a, a garden over there also. Okay. And so they've got a, a nice little fire pit in the back. They've got a garden area. They've got a place for the kids to play. And just, that's beautiful. Yep, gorgeous home, beautiful views. Great price, though. Yeah, this, this one's going to sell fast.